Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a quick, easy recipe. I have not ever made this before, but I've seen it floating around on Facebook a lot and my husband has specifically requested it um, for us to try. He thinks he will really like it. It does involve a certain restaurant chain, um, Parmesan garlic sauce. I forget what it's called. Um, yeah, garlic Parmesan sauce. But when I went to buy it at the store, they did not have the garlic Parmesan in that restaurant brand. So I had to get the Walmart brand, but it's fine. I don't know. I've never made this before. Maybe that makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. If you've made this before, you let me know in the comments below whether this is okay or if you have to get that particular brand. Also, sorry for the coughing. I have a little sick kid over here today. Um, so we're going to get it together. It doesn't require a lot. It requires a box of rotini pasta, that sauce, shredded chicken, milk, chicken broth, and cream cheese and broccoli and Italian seasoning and Parmesan cheese, and that's it. So we're gonna put it all into one dish, stick it in the oven, and dinner's done. So let's get started. Got all, oops, got all the ingredients here. First thing we're gonna do is spray the casserole dish. I'm gonna use a deeper one for my own preference, but I think just a regular nine by 13 will be okay, but this one is deep. This way I can stir it because you have to kind of stir it around a little bit and I don't want to make a mess. So the first thing you do is open a box of rotini. This is just 16 ounces of rotini and you're going to put it in there and it's cooked. Uncooked. Okay. And then you're going to open your garlic parmesan sauce and dump the whole bottle in there then I'm gonna measure out one cup of milk and we're gonna pour it into this jar. I did that left handed. Put the lid on. Because we're going to get all that stuff out of the jar. Pour that over. Two cups of chicken broth. I want to make sure we cover all of the noodles. Make sure they're submerged down in the liquid because that's how they're going to cook. Okay. Then it says three cups of shredded chicken. I just boiled chicken breast and shredded them in my KitchenAid mixer. You could probably use like rotisserie chicken or if you want to get like canned chicken or if you just, if you have some on hand, you could do it however you want. Um, you could use thighs for if you prefer dark meat, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay. That there. And then we're gonna put one block of cream cheese. That's what I love. You don't even have to like cut it in blocks, chunks, or anything. If I can get it open. I'm gonna take the block of cream cheese, stick it right in the middle that sticking everything in this box for trash okay then this is a 16 ounce bag of broccoli for us i get it at sam's i'm gonna buy it in the big package of four of these in one bag i like that because they are actually the florets they're not the stem pieces Broccoli all over the top. Okay. I'm glad 
glad I used a deep pan. Meanwhile, the oven is preheating to 425. Then I'm gonna get some foil. All we're gonna do is cover this in foil. We're gonna bake it for 35 minutes, pull it out, mix it all together, sprinkle some seasoning and Parmesan cheese and stick it back in for another five minutes, five to 10 minutes, and it's done. Oven's ready, so let's put it in. Five minutes are up. Let's see what we've got. Okay. It's like <coughs> get the noodles cooked. Okay. So it says to just mix it all in there together. There's definitely enough liquid. So, the noodles didn't dry out. So we get it all mixed in together, and then the next thing you're gonna do is add some Italian seasoning. You can just use Italian seasoning if you have one already together, but I don't, so I'm just gonna do oregano. You don't really need a lot because that sauce had it a lot of seasoning in it. I don't know how to tell you how much. Just sprinkle it on there, however much you want and basil, and then about a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then you're just gonna put this back in the oven for about 10 minutes until this cheese is all melted. And then you're ready to eat. the oven. 10 minutes later, this is what we have. It smells wonderful, I will say that. Just pulled it out of the oven, so I think I'm going to let it rest for a few minutes before I dig into it and try it. But it looks great. This should be pretty good. So that's it. It's still hot, but I can't wait to try it. So this should be an all-in-one dinner. You shouldn't have to put a side dish with it or a bread with it because you've got your carbohydrates, you've got your green veggies, and then you have your chicken with this protein. You've got your dairy with the cream cheese and the cheese and the milk and the <laughs> sauce. So I don't think you need to serve anything with it, but you can always put a salad with it or some bread if you just want to. But this is how we're gonna eat it tonight. So let me see, let me get a noodle, chicken, broccoli, all in one bite. It's good. Try this. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Go try it. If you like garlic, this is for you. We'll see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye. Bye.